you are next. And Ms. Ashton, you have six minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. And I'm really pleased that we're having this uh, meeting today as a result of my colleague uh, uh, MP CACAC's work. Uh, it is a very important uh, meeting and uh, and we need to get answers. Puckettawagan deserves answers. I wanna start off by saying that Puckettawagan, Matthias Colomb is a remote First Nation here in Northern Manitoba. And uh, it's done everything in its power to keep its community safe, like many other First Nations. In the midst of all of this through the CBC News, they found out that a company in Newfoundland was making tents that they, for them, specialized tents that they never asked for. Imagine that. Then they went on to find out, and we all went on to find out, that the chair of the board of the company that made these tents is the former Liberal cabinet minister on uh, the uh, government's supply council for COVID-19. So the plot thickens. The reality is that this uh, excuse that uh, ISC was trying to be proactive doesn't uh, stand up to the test. Puckettawagan deserves answers. How is it that these tents were destined for this First Nation when nobody asked for them? So my question to you, Ms. Minister Miller, is who in your department made this request on behalf of Puckettawagan? Why Puckettawagan and no other First Nations, including other remote First Nations here in Manitoba or elsewhere. Well, thank you, Ms. Ashton, for the question. Um, I think in response to your question, um, and, and I believe my office has sent you the answer from our department, um, we need to understand how uh, how surge capacity resourcing works and and as part of that we need to profile and model communities that are vulnerable and as you've highlighted and has as the community has highlighted to our team um, it is part of a number of vulnerable communities across Canada that uh, have those vulnerabilities for unacceptable reasons uh, and as part of that we we need to establish procurement models and resource on a Canada-wide level. Um, Matthias Colomb was named as part of um, a, a greater model in trying to understand what needs would be uh, not only for a first wave but a second or a third wave uh, and as you've heard uh, in prior testimony but I'm glad to reiterate it um, the press release from the company that was selected to uh, to provide these units was uh, was a little hasty uh, and in fact mischaracterize what these uh, ver these very important units are for and as a result uh, the, the, the community was surprised and that's not right and, and I'll concede that they had this pandemic so, so and it, if I if I can stop you there the, for, uh, the for, for what it needed in its community and it's and it's and, it, and you're it's, not answering uh, the questions mr. Miller your your letter in response to our letter did not provide any answers you reference First Nations leaders uh, you reference to uh, uh, you know sort of there's generalities the reality is here in in our constituency there are 21 remote First Nations Puckettawagan is one of them so why Puckettawagan and no other community we uh, uh, and and certainly as uh, as MP but uh, uh, Puckettawagan and all communities in our region deserve exact answers. Who made these requests from your department? And I'm not interested in explanations around what surge capacity is. Uh, I understand. Uh, the reality is that Puckettawagan was singled out and frankly was used. Now, answer if, if you could please answer me this. Your government, uh, after all of uh, this scandal came out, finally confirmed and agreed to spending $449,460 to upgrade the youth in Puckettawagan as a way of, of uh, having the community be prepared for COVID-19. However, your government preferred to spend almost double that amount, $766,140.34 on these tents that nobody asked for from a company who was chaired by a, uh, a former liberal cabinet minister. So the question is, you know, how is it acceptable that your government benefited a liberal uh, and only then committed a mere half of the money to a community that's desperate uh, to uh, to have the proper infrastructure in place. Does it take a scandal to get even half of what uh, of the kind of money that your government's committing and uh, and to live up to to uh, the the urgent needs of First Nations? Well, I, I would su submit to you, Ms. Ashton, this is not how procurement works. Uh, we were working with the community already to respond to their pandemic plan, and indeed, it, it, were you to ask them, they would say that they are. Uh, and I do not pur purport to speak for them. They are quite happy with uh, with with the result right now. But that was something um, that was well in the works, to the best of my understanding. Uh, that, that again, 
the surge capacity nature of the procurement was such that um, these tents, which are in very, very tents, they, they are very expensive movable structures with, uh, with, with, the, with a medical purpose that can be used in many ways. They are in very, very high demand in the communities that, uh, that need them, we respond proactively to. But obviously we have to predict for, for second or third waves and that's why that procurement um, occurs on a national scale. And we're glad to work with communities that require um, any of these. And, and the communities that have used them are, 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 are quite happy. Obviously they're not happy with the conditions that, that, that create the need, but obviously it's something that uh, we need to continue moving forward and with and we will. Sure. I mean, let me just remind both you and the committee, the chief used the word paternalism to describe this announcement. Uh, you know, these are very serious uh, and, and frankly, uh, um, you know, uh, the serious words to describe what your government did. Uh, so so let's move on to other communities. There's your only 10 seconds left, Miss Miss Ashton. I'm sorry. You were... uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll follow up in the next round. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we're going to a five minute